Vimana Sanskrit, Vimana Iast, Vimana, lit. Dwarf, is the fifth avatar of Hindu god Vishnu. He incarnates in a time of crisis to restore cosmic balance by creatively defeating the Asura king Mahabali, who had acquired disproportionate power over the universe. According to Hindu mythology, the noble demon king sponsors a sacrifice and gift-giving ceremony to consolidate his power, and Vishnu appears at this ceremony as a dwarf mendicant Brahmin called Vimana. When Vimana's turn comes to receive a gift, Mahabali offers him whatever riches and material wealth he would like, but Vimana refuses everything and states he would just like three paces of land. Mahabali finds the dwarf's request amusingly small and irrevocably grants it. Vimana then grows into a giant of cosmic proportions. In one step he covers the earth, in another the heavens, and for the third, Mahabali offers his head on which Vimana steps, sending the demon king to the Patala netherworld. .The Vimana avatar has roots in Vedic texts of Hinduism. The hymns of the Rigveda describes Vishnu as that benevolent god who in three steps defined all there is in the universe. The giant form of Vimana is also known as Travikrama literally, three steps. The Vimana legend has been a popular one, inspiring icons found in Hindu temples and sections in Hindu texts such as the Puranas and the epics. About 30 different versions of his mythology are found in these texts. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The Sanskrit word Vimana, vimana means dwarf. He is also known as Travikrama. Travikrama means the three steps, representing the Svarga heaven, the earth, and the Patala netherworld. The legend of Vishnu covering the universe in three steps is found in Vedic texts. For example, hymns, 1.22 and 1.154 of the Rigveda describe Vishnu as that bountiful, kind, just God in three steps defined all there is in the universe. Other Rigvedic hymns that mention three steps of Vishnu include 1.154, 6.49, 7.100 and 8.29, and in these the context is of a benevolent god who protects the oppressed humanity by his creative acts against the evil. <inaudible> Origin Aditi took Payovrata to propitiate Lord Vishnu. As a result, Vimana was born to Aditi and Kashyapa. He is the twelfth of the Adityas. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism The Bhagavata Purana describes that Vishnu descended as the Vimana avatar to restore the authority of Indra over the heavens, as it had been taken by a benevolent Asura king Mahabali or simply called Bali. Bali was the great-grandson of Hiranyakshipu, the grandson of Prahlada and son of Virachana. Vimana, as a dwarf Brahmin carrying a wooden umbrella, went to the king to request for land that he could set his foot upon for three paces. Mahabali consented, against the warning of his guru, Shukracharya, thinking of the limitations of the space of his foot. Vimana then enlarged to gigantic proportions to stride over the three worlds. He stepped from heaven to earth with the first step, from earth to the netherworld with the second. King Mahabali, unable to fulfill his promise, offered his head for the third. Vimana then placed his foot and gave the king immortality for his humility. He was also allowed to return every year to see the citizens of his country. The festival of Onam for some and first day of Diwali for some is related to this return of Mahabali to a visit to earth once every year in August-September. Some texts state that Vimana gave the lordship of the netherworld to Bali. In giant form, Vimana is known as Travikrama. According to another but similar version, Prahlada's grandson Mahabali came to power by defeating the gods Devas, and taking over the three worlds. According to Vaishnavism mythology, the defeated Devas approached Vishnu for help in their battle with Mahabali. Vishnu refused to join the gods in violence against Mahabali, because Mahabali was a good ruler and his own devotee. He, instead, decided to test Mahabali's devotion at an opportune moment. Mahabali, after his victory over the gods, declared that he will perform yajna homa sacrifices and grant anyone any request during the yajna. Vishnu took the avatar of a dwarf boy called Vimana and approached Mahabali. The king offered anything to the boy, gold, cows, elephants, villages, food, whatever he wished. The boy said that one must not seek more than one needs, and all he needs is the property right over a piece of land that measures three paces. Mahabali agreed. 
The Vimana grew and covered everything Mahabali ruled over in just two paces. For the third pace, Mahabali offered himself to the Vimana. Symbolism Mahabali symbolizes Samriti prosperity, the three feet symbolizes the three states of existence Jagrat awake, Swapna dream sleep, and Sushupti deep sleep, and final step is on his head which elevates from these three states, unto moksha spiritual liberation, release from rebirths. <laughs> Onam festival In one version of the Vimana legend, when Mahabali offered himself for Vishnu's third step, it was an act of Mahabali's devotion. Vishnu granted him a boon. Mahabali chose to revisit earth, once every year, the lands and people he previously ruled. This revisit marks the festival of Onam, as reminder of the virtuous rule and his humility in keeping his promise before Vishnu. According to Nanditha Krishna, a simpler form of this legend, one without Mahabali, is found in the Rigveda and the Vedic text Shatapatha Brahmana, where a solar deity is described with powers of Vishnu. This story likely grew over time, and is in part allegorical, where Bali is a metaphor for thanksgiving offering after a bounty of rice harvest during monsoon, and Vishnu is the metaphor of the Kerala sun and summer that precedes the Onam. According to Roshan Dalal, the story of Mahabali is important to Onam in Kerala, but similar Mahabali legends are significant in the region of Balia in Uttar Pradesh, Bawan also in the same state, Baruch in Gujarat, and Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra. The story is significant not because Mahabali's rule ended, but it emphasizes the Hindu belief in cyclical nature of events, that no individual, no ruler and nothing lasts forever, except the virtues and self-understanding that overcomes all sorrow. Iconography Vimana iconography varies by region. Three icons are common, one shows his left foot raised above his knee, the second shows his foot above his navel, and the third shows it raised above the forehead. These icons respectively symbolize the three worlds, netherworld, earth and heaven, Vimana covered as Travikrama. Temples <inaudible> 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 The Vimana iconography and images are found in many Vaishnava temples. Some Vimana temples include Vimana Temple at Marhia, Jubalpur, dated to 5th century, Gupta Empire era. Vimana Temple in Nagpur complex of Ramagiri temples, Maharashtra, 5th century CE. Vimana along with other avatars of Vishnu at the Dashavatara temple, Deogar, Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh, dated 500 to 500 CE. Trikakara Temple, Trikakara, Cochin, Kerala Ulagalantha Purumal Temple, Kanchipuram in Kanchipuram Vimana Temple, Eastern Group of Temples, Kajuraho, Madhya Pradesh Ulagalantha Purumal Temple, Tirukoilar in Tirukoilar, Villapuram District, Tamil Nadu Kazhisarama Vinagaram in Sarkazi, Tamil Nadu Ulagalanda Purumal in Tirunermalai Divya Desam near Palavaram, Chennai Thri Vikrama Temple in Thamalam, Bank of Karamana River, Thiruvanathapuram. Topic. See also. Media related to Vimana at Wikimedia Commons. Dashavatara. Vishnu Purana. Onam. Bhagavata Purana. Vishnu. Varaha. Parashurama. Rama Krishna Buddha Kalki Vamadeva <laughs>